Hey, hey, everybody! It is I, Fork, as you know, down new, and I would like to welcome you to the 11th episode of Indie Bites. The first game we've got today is VHS Story by Game Jam. It is a point-and-click underground fighting sim. Uh, you play this guy right here, Hero, and he's got a dream to be the best fighter in the world. So you sort of, well, you train up, and you go out into fights, and you gain fame, and all sorts of really, really good stuff. Now, it is currently in alpha, so there's not, it's not complete. What you're gonna see today is not a final product, but it's a good example of what you can expect to have. They are still working on it, I believe, and there's gonna be a lot to it. So, basics, right off the bat. You have got three meters that you need to keep it on, and you've got three basic stats. You've got energy, health, and hunger, then it's strength, oh wait, here we go, is it going to tell me strength, agility, and stamina. Pretty simple stuff. As you train, so click over here and move hero right here, as you train you see you'll gain stats but you'll lose meters. Basically all you want to do in this game is train up to be super super strong and then go and punch dudes in the face. As you build these up, Let's get this last one to finish, and then, okay, hop out of there, come over to the character screen. As those points go up, you will get stat points that you can spend. Now, the tutorial noted that only this big number matters. So these are like little experience points, and this is the overall score in it. So let's do strong punches, oh dang, and we'll do dodge. So we've got twos in both of those. These tabs don't seem to be working yet, but that's fine. So let's go ahead. That's a little bit of training. Let's head to the house so we can take a look. Here we go. In your kitchen, you have got food which you can eat. You'll get various different things for eating different foods. We'll go ahead and eat some of that and then go take a nap to heal up. Oh, sorry, not to heal up, but to get our energy back before a fight. Now this, like I mentioned, this is an alpha, so the food uh, is limited. There's no way at present to actually get more food. Now resting on the, this doesn't do anything yet. I don't know what's going on, but it just, it just doesn't. Okay, plus 70 food, plus 10 energy, uh, plus 30 food, there we go. Let's go ahead and have one more slice of pizza. 92 is good enough. This, do, it doesn't do anything yet. Maybe there'll be mini games or something like that there. That'd be really cool. Um, so, this is the world map. You have to work to earn money. Once you earn money, you can come to the store and you can buy things to train up different stat points. And last but not least, the moment you've been waiting for, there is fighting. Now this is very, very interesting. You need to play to your strengths and against your opponent's weaknesses. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure how these line up, but I would guess that like, so I, if I focus on speed and he focuses on power, depending on points in that, you know, it'll, it'll go differently. I'm not really sure. I haven't played much into this, but we will up our aggression a little bit. See, we are focused on power, not speed. So we're going to go ahead and go there. All punches. We don't know any kicks yet. And let's see, we put our points into dodge, so let's raise that a bit. Do I adjust his? No, okay, that's just how his is. So, I'm guessing in later fights, you sort of build yours to counteract theirs. But let's fight, and this is all automatic. I'm not pressing anything, just kind of watch. You need to train up your stamina, because if you use all of your stamina, you'll get knocked down, just like that guy was. And I won! Something else to take note of is that after a fight, whether you win or lose, you lose 50 health. So that's time that you need to spend. Let's see, our hunger and food's good. So you need to you need to rest up in order to heal. So no matter what you do, there's don't don't fight at 50 health basically because you'll die. I guess you'll die. I haven't died yet. Okay, so that's that. This is all working is. Do, 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 I like how he's got his, um, so I, I assume he's in an office because work is in a different location from the house, and he's sitting there, he's in his shorts and a t-shirt, and his, his boxing wraps. Okay, 
Let's go to the shop. Buy, buy, and I need to work a little bit more. All right. Now I think that you know you you see here there's a date. I think that maybe as time like time passes, better fights become available or something like that. I'm not really sure, but that's it. That's VHS story. Uh, you can check out the current alpha build on the game developer's website, and there is a link to that in the description. I will see you guys on the next game. Our second game of the day is Minus Grad by Matthias Lundberg, aka Splunzy. You play as this guy, this little hunter, and you are in some very, very cold place in the world. Let me move my mouse out of the way, and we'll go ahead and hop in. Now, as you can see, my gun is on my back. That allows me to move pretty quick, but I can't shoot. So I have to unholster it, and then I can shoot. And you have to hold down the reload button in order to reload. You can't just tap it, you have to hold that sucker down. Now what is so great about this game is just how tense it is. You play it here, you're a hunter, and you are <laughs> you're hunting monsters and trying to save frozen humans. So you go out in the wilderness, or the tundraness, whatever, and you find ice ice cubes of dudes and you bring them back and then that's a point yay now these monsters i they i'm guess i'm picturing them as polar bears but extremely aggressive they're pure white as white as the snow that i'm standing on right now and they are really really hard to see they're really fast and they take a whole clip to kill so it's it's very very tough and you need to be on your toes I highly, highly recommend playing this with with headphones on. One, because it's more atmospheric. Just listen to that music. Listen to how tense it makes everything. And you can hear them when they start running up on you. Uh, that was one right there. It gave me a heart attack. Oh, God. Where did he come from? Oh, Jesus. I didn't even see him. Oh my god, <laughs> he was just sitting there! Holy crap, that is awesome! Okay, so this game is tough. This game is really, really tough, and I really recommend you check it out. There isn't much else to this game, except to say it is an experience, and you should play it. I just, I've never saved, I've never managed to save an ice cube in this, so why don't we go ahead and see if... See if we can save ourselves an ice cube guy before we die on this next live. Come on. I just, I'm sorry. The, I just really like to get immersed in this game. I've played a few rounds. Of, I've played a few rounds of it so far and none of them have gone very well. All right. Okay, so. Uh, uh, I know they can come from they can come from the left too so I'm really nervous right now when you're when you're heading back this way they can come from this way oh I jumped over him oh my god run oh, oh my god oh we got him sweet oh that's awesome okay Oh no! I fucked up. I holstered it and then I unholstered it. But you know what? We saved a guy, and that's what really matters, isn't it? Okay. Uh, this game also free. You can check it out on Game Jolt, and there, there's a link in the description. So let's move on to the next one. All right, our last game for the day is Alien Disaster by Doc Gerard. This is a top-down shoot 'em up. With very simple graphics and very, very simple controls. In fact, you only use two buttons. So let's go ahead. Oops, sorry. Hold on. Let's go ahead and hop in. So, that ship is you. I haven't seen this before. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just jump on through there. So we can get to the, the meat of it. Okay. So. You are this ship. You want to prevent... Red things for touching this white circle. This is sort of, I'm guessing, it's sort of a shield uh, that, that you've created around this bubble thing to keep the aliens from just kind of getting out. 
And when I mentioned that you only use two buttons, I, I wasn't kidding. You use S to change the direction you're spinning in this circle, and D to move super fast. Now, you can't actually kill that guy in the middle. That's some sort of mothership, and this is just a... This is a survival game. Last as long as you can. Now, as you go on, different things will happen, as I'm sure... Ah, oh, damn! As I'm sure you already noticed, like, he'll... The circle... The nebulous circle of alien will shoot out different kinds of... Things, like that laser, or that big red blob that we saw just a second ago. Damn it! <laughs> now you take three hits before you die, and it's it's as simple as this. You go around the circle and you shoot baddies. What I really like about this game is the aesthetic that they managed to pull off. It's fantastic that they did something so energizing, I guess, with Two, two colors, really. Three colors if you count the background. And the soundtrack is great. It's nice and... Oh, God, no, I died! Oh. <laughs> and look at that. All the aliens going out and taking over the universe. Mm. You know, I did better than that on my first try. Um, I'm ashamed of myself. But that's... That's really it. I would love to see... I would love to see a version of this game with power-ups... Uh, maybe different shapes that you can go around, um, different different monsters, all that stuff. I would love to see more of this game. Uh, it's free. You can check it out on Game Jolt. There's a link in the description. And as always, I would like to thank you all for joining me on Indie Bites. I'm glad that you liked the show, and I I really love doing this and showing off these games. If you know of any games that could be featured on the next Indie Bites, go ahead and drop me a link. Uh, either mention a statement in the comments or shoot me a message here on YouTube. And if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like and subscribe if you want more. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.